What's up, Glow Squad? It's your girl Erica coming at you with another video. <coughs> oh, <laughs> my throat on tonight. Ooh. All right, y'all. So today we're going to talk about me. Not that we haven't been talking about me like this whole um, channel, but. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a get to know me tag on tonight. Hashtag get to know me tag. So you guys are gonna learn a little bit about me. I think we're gonna do a part one and part two only because I have so many questions um, that are on the list and I wanna make sure that I get to all of them. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, I'm gonna go all over the place and just choose the ones that I feel that I really that I could talk about right now and then yeah so let's go <laughs> okay so the first one is who is your celebrity crush okay listen I need y'all to get your phones ready okay get y'all phones ready because I need y'all to tag this man I need y'all to tag this man because I need him to come over here and marry me. I need him to come over here and marry me. Okay? Michael B. Jordan, baby. Michael B. Jordan. The crazy thing is I'm a little crazy because I got two of them. Michael B. Jordan and Zac Efron have been like bae ever since high school. Okay? He's been, he's been bae. So... You know, Michael B. Jordan, tag him, y'all. Tell him he needs to come over here and marry me, okay? He he needs to come over here and say, will you marry me? And then I will go and marry him. Tag him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. So the before we move on to the next question if this is your first time on my channel please go ahead and like comment and subscribe okay please join the glow squad family the reason why this channel is called glow squad is because i've turned 30 and i feel like i am just glowing up because you know how it is. I'm just growing up, but glowing up because, you know, I'm doing my thing, right? Um, and on this channel, it is all about lifestyle, entertainment, okay? So join me and uh, let's have some fun, Glow Squad. All right, next question. Okay, so the next question is, what are your favorite values in friends? Um, favorite values in friends? Um, loyalty, honesty, okay, and positivity. I'm gonna leave it there, okay? Because if you have loyalty, I feel like you you can be a good friend to me. You will be by me no matter what. I'm not a crazy person. Um, I don't make crazy decisions. And even if I make crazy decisions, um, I might need a friend to kind of remind me that, hey, hold up now, don't go to Crazyville. Don't go, don't go to Crazyville. I don't, I'm not looking for that friend that's gonna say don't go to Crazyville without me. But I'm looking for that friend that's gonna say, girl, now you know better. So, loyalty, and then honesty. The last part that I just said, girl, you know better. Somebody who's gonna tell me the truth, who's not gonna lie to me just to spare my feelings um, about things, but who's gonna tell me the truth. Because the truth shall set you free. All right, and then the last one, um, it's positivity. I need somebody who's positive. If you are a negative Nancy, you're gonna push that. You're gonna push that energy on me, and I don't want that energy, especially in 2023. Oh, baby, no. You 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 need to go on somewhere. Go on somewhere with that negativity, because honey, over here, 2023, positivity all day, er day, er day. I tell you, 
Okay, I know y'all are hearing a lot of cars outside. I could not find anywhere quieter. I'm always, and of course, this fire um, alarm thing. Um, I guess it needs batteries. But yeah. So yeah, that's what I like about um, um, my friends. That would be like those the special things. So, what is the first thing you notice about people? Hmm. The first thing I know I notice about people is their character. Now, the and it's so weird. How do you know somebody's character without talking to them? You look at their faces. Now, you look at their faces and you look at how they approach you. The I look at the first impression. I always look at the first impression. How is this person around me? When you first meet somebody, you say hello, you smile. You don't just sit there and don't know anything. This is how I can always know. I always know the kids who are going to be trouble. I always know the kids who are gonna be like really great. I know some who are gonna be in and out between being good and going to crazy bill. Okay, and that is based on the first impression. Usually, the first impression they call, they'll come up, "Hi, Miss," on the first day of school. "Hi, Miss, how are you? You doing good?" Okay, and then they'll go in, they'll sit, um, and they'll pay attention. The ones who could care less, man, they'll come by the door. They'll be like, as soon as you say, as soon as you say good morning, <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You sound like you got something stuck down your throat. What you been doing? Like, come on. You been eating some hot sauce or something? Come on. Mm. What y'all coming in here looking like? Y'all possessed or something. Jeez. Like, I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. All right, next question. Did you go to college? Yes, I did go to college. I am repping Hollins University. Shout out to Hollins. This is where I got my master's in uh, playwriting. So I am representing them at work. We do have to wear college t-shirts every Thursdays to work um, so we can, you know, inspire the kids. And so I always represent the three colleges um, that I attended that I have a shirt for. I did attend four different colleges, but I don't have a shirt for the other one. I need to find a shirt because I love to represent all of my schools. Um, whether I had the best times of my life or half of it was good, I still like to represent because that's what helped me become who I am in the education world, right? So, yep, Holland University. Shout out to Holland. Okay, so what was your first job? Oh my gosh. Y'all, my stepmom and my dad, they had a cleaning business. So we had like a family, we had a family business, okay? And we used to clean like doctor's offices, um, um, schools. I'm trying to think what else we used to clean. Ooh, we used to clean out of, out of different places oh this one we used to clean warehouses call centers um, just different places that we used to clean and of course I used to have my own place that I was in charge of so my mom would literally drop me off on the weekend when there's no school she would drop me off and then go on about her business and then she'll pick me up when I'm done like literally I would be inside of that clinic and I cleaned the whole clinic um, um you know from the from the back to the front like clean everything and then after i'm done she'll come in she'll check everything if something's not right she's like okay try to do it this way kind of stuff like that so it was it was really 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 good the only thing is y'all that makes me hate cleaning it makes me hate cleaning you hear me it it, it makes me hate cleaning which is why i'm like you know what when I start making some good money, I think I'm gonna hire a maid because ugh, 
I, I cleaned so much as a teenager. I'm talking about from 14 until I was about 20, okay? Because I quit. Because when I turned 20, I was like, I'm in college now, and I quit. Because I went to college, you know, at home, the community college at home. So I was like, you know what, I quit. I quit. I'm like, I ain't doing this no more. It wasn't until I put my foot down and quit that I was able to let that job go. And then when I quit, when I did quit at the age of uh, 20, did I? Yeah, I quit at the age of 20. When I quit, what I did was I went and got my first job at Jimmy John's. So a lot of, I use these two inter uh, inter you know, changeably because I feel like Jimmy John is my favorite. It's my, not favorite, definitely not my favorite um, job, but it was my first job that I feel like my first big girl job that I feel like I got because all throughout high school, nobody wanted to hire me. Like public didn't even want to hire me and I still feel bad about that. Like I still feel some type of way about that public. Like what shopping is a pleasure. Like I wanted to work there so it could be like, well working is a pleasure, but you were tripping when I was 16. So, so yeah, so yeah, and then, yeah, <laughs> I use these two interchangeably, so it, it, it depends on when you catch me, I might say cleaning, um, I might say, you know, Jimmy John, so, <laughs> um, so, oh my goodness, this is a good question, do you prefer the city or the country? Um, I prefer the city. I'm a city girl. I've always been. I've always been a city girl. Um, when I was in Haiti, uh, we lived maybe 20 minutes from the city, from the city center. And I used to just love going to the city. I remember telling my mom that when I grow up, I'm gonna buy me a house in the city. Cause I don't understand why she doesn't want to live in the city. I want to buy me a house in the city. Now, of course, that I own a home, I didn't buy it in the city because I couldn't afford city prices. I bought it in the country. I bought it in the country, which is 30 minutes away from the city. But in my heart, in my heart, if I'm ever, in my heart, like if I'm, if I ever make high rise money, Baby, I'm moving into a high rise. I'm moving into a high rise so I can see the whole city. Like, that's the dream. That is definitely, definitely the dream. Okay. So, what are your hobbies? Um, I'm almost done. I'm just going to do a few more after this, about three more. What are your hobbies? Okay, I love to bowl. I love to bowl. Like, I love to bowl. If you ask me what I want to do, I make the bowling. Okay, I love to go out to eat. Um, I love to sing. I love to sing. Singing started out as a hobby, but now it is definitely like way more serious to me than um, than when I was younger. When I was younger, it was a hobby, so I took it on at the age of at the age of like six. I'm singing, going to um choir i was i joined the choir i think at the age of six i joined the kids choir uh so i was singing for fun and then now it's literally my life it's literally what i do away from like working at a job it's literally what i do now um in church it is that's just what i do now um and then i used to make a canvas so take the um yarn the, the yarn like thread looking yarn and then take you know the canvas and have the holes all over it oh, excuse me oh no it's not ash um the holes i can make all kinds of things with that like i can make jewelry boxes i can make doll clothes um i made a picture frame a few years back i made a um a placemat for your table um, so yeah, I can make different things with with those. So you know, it's always um, it's always fun stuff to do. Um, okay, so how many countries have you traveled to? 
I'm from Haiti, so I'm gonna count Haiti as one. I've been to I've been to London, so I've been to the United Kingdom uh, or England, whichever one. Uh, you know what? I, I don't I don't I use those two interchangeably, so I don't know. But it it was England. It was England. So I went to Haiti, England. Um, where else have I been? Like out of the country. I mean, I mean, I stopped in Germany. I didn't go outside of the airport, but hey, I was there for some hours, some odd hours. So mm, I'll still count that because I touched the land. Um, so I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one in there. Oh. Well, no, that's that's a part of the U.S. I went to Puerto Rico. That's part of the U.S. That's one of the territories. I'll still put that as one. That's four. Um, and then this year I have some things coming up, so I'll get to add to my um to my uh, to my list. Um. So what was your dream job as a kid? My dream job as a kid was to be a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a pediatrician, pediatrician so I could take care of children, right? I've always wanted to do something with children. So I guess me being a teacher, I'm still working with children, except that I want to quit. I wanna, yeah, except that I want to quit, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Another another time. I'm seeing a lot of teachers quitting videos, so um, I guess I'll give y'all my, my wanting to quit video. I think I, I, I made one, but you'll get the, the real one one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to be a pediatrician, and then after being a pediatrician, when I... Um, it was, it was being a pediatrician, I'm trying to think, um, I, I remember it wasn't just being a pediatrician, um, uh, being a pediatrician, then after a while, I wanted to, I wanted to be a lawyer, I still want to be a lawyer, to tell you the truth, if I would have a career change today, I decided that, you know what? Teaching is not for me. Real estate is not for me. Oh baby, 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 baby. I'm going back to law school. But okay, so sad story time. A quick sad story time. Get your tissues um, because, you know, somebody might cry. So back in 2017, we're in 2023 now. Back in 2017, so six years ago, I had, um, no, 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 2016, I graduated college with my bachelor's degree. And then I said, okay, um, what do I want to do next with my life? I wanted to go to law school. I went I went to school for theater. That's, that was the first thing I wanted to do. Second thing I really wanted to do was law. It was, it was theater and law. Those were like the biggest thing in my life. So, and I still want to be a lawyer. Literally, if I can find somebody right now that said they would pay for law school, baby, I will be, I will be in law school, even though I feel like I don't really want to go to school anymore or whatever the case might be. Like, I would totally do it. Um, um, but I'll, 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 I'll tell you though. So sad story time. So then 2016, I graduated college and I'm like, yeah, I want to be a lawyer. So I, um, that's my next step. But I also had um, um, been chosen to this competition in 2016 for, um, for my play, Why Now? And it had went to, you know, to Charleston. And I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I do have a career in this theater stuff. So then that's when I was like, okay, so it's either I go to school for, uh, for law, or I go to school for playwriting, so I can continue to write plays. And then I got this brilliant idea that I was gonna go to law school during the school, during the, the year, and go to playwriting school. 
um, during the summer, which is what I did. I went to playwriting school for four years, and I, but those four years were only summers. Throughout the school year, I didn't do that. I was working as a teacher. And, and so that was like my idea. So then I, um, so then um, I was like, okay, so my mom lived in Haiti, like my birth mom lived in Haiti. I had filed for her to get a green card to come. So I'm like, okay, when my mom comes, this is gonna be great. She's gonna be working to keep the house up and stuff like that, keep the house running. And I'm gonna be um, and I'm gonna be in law school and writing school. So that'll give me time to actually focus and do what I need to do. Boom, 2017, um, 2017, I'm getting ready. I went to this, um, I went to this, um, I was getting ready to start my um, my playwriting. I had been accepted to the university for playwriting. As far as law, um, I started debating whether I wanted to go to law, but then I went to visit this beautiful school for law. It was so amazing. I sat in the courtroom and took the practice test. The first few portions of the practice test, I took my time and did those. When I got to the last portion, I was sitting in that room and I was like, I don't think I want to be a lawyer. I was so nervous. I don't know why I came up with that thought, but either way, I stopped. And so I was lit. I didn't even do the last portion of that test. I just guessed. And I got, I needed 20 more points to pass it, which means I would have passed the LSAT to go to law school. That's what I that's what I took out of it. I would have passed um, the LSAT, um, but I didn't. And then and then my mom passed away. And when my mom passed away, so she couldn't come to the U.S. So it's like now all of the bills are on me. And you know I have my family in Haiti. So like my mom used to take care of them while she was over there. So now everybody's looking. For me to help them out so it was just it was just a hard hard time and so I was like you know what I guess law school is not for me so I gave up on law school and I went to playwriting school and of course I was happy I was happy I loved being in playwriting school um, as far as law school I did say I was gonna work as a teacher during the day and then go to law school at night because they do have a part-time but I was like, it's gonna take four years. I don't think I wanna do this in four years. I don't think I wanna do this for four years. I talked to this guy who said, um, when he started, he was a teacher, so he basically stopped teaching completely so he could get law school out of the way. And I'm just like, I'm just like, wow. So now I'm kind of thinking like, whoa, um, like it would have been great to be a lawyer. It would have been great to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a corporate lawyer, um, you know, representing um, representing businesses um, and dealings and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to be a family lawyer at first, but I don't believe in divorces unless it's for safety reasons. Um, and so I didn't do that one. So I was like, nah, not lawyer, because I don't want to have to and then I don't want to have to snatch anybody's kid, you know, from them. Like, I don't have the heart. But when it comes to businesses, oh, yeah, I'll shut, you, I'll, I'll, I'll shut you down. And I feel bad for the people, for the poor people who are trying to sue the businesses. Because I would represent the businesses. And, baby, you ain't getting jack squat. You ain't, you ain't getting jack squat. So, um, so yeah. Um, if I do have the opportunity to ever go to law school and actually try it out, um, I would try it out to see if possible. But right now, um, what I'm focusing on is, you know, being a teacher because I do want to teach college. I want to teach at a university and um, I don't know, move up the ranks there or something. Um, move up the ranks there. And then I want, of course, I want to do um, like real estate stuff. It was like, it's a mosquito in here. I want to do real estate stuff and so I want to get my real estate license and just see how I can do stuff but I know me I like doing different things 
So, I don't know. I may go to law school, y'all. <laughs> I may go I may go to law school. Um, I did have like one last question that I wanted to go over. This is our last question. This video was honestly supposed to be 10 minutes. Like one minute for each question, but no. I don't even know how many questions I did. So this is the last question. The last question is, how would you describe your fashion sense? I would say my fashion sense is great. It's amazing, okay? Other people probably don't think so, but that's okay, you don't matter. I matter, and I think <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Because you're not the one wearing my clothes. I'm the one wearing it. And so I feel like my fashion sense is great. So um, back to the whole wanting to be in theater. That's why I wanted to do this question. So when I was 15, at the when I was 14, I remember telling my stepmom that I wanted to be an actress. I'm like, I want to be an actress. I want to be a model. And I want to be a singer. That was like, that was like the thing. I wanted to be that triple threat. I wanted to have those three those three not dancing i can't dance so um so so yeah that's why she put me in like modeling school um so i used to model ever since i was 14. i still do until this day you know i'm waiting for my big break so if y'all know anybody out there looking for models you know tag them on here okay i used to do fashion show i used to model i did like a local fashion show for belk um, I think I did one for um, Macy's like it was a local fashion show though it was like oh here's that here's what that's what's at the store so I used to love it every year we had a fashion show um, in my town and I used to love 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 doing it love going um, so I'm always excited uh, if you have not liked this video yet like my video okay all right y'all that's it for today on this video thank y'all so much for watching thank you for always coming back watching my videos make sure you like subscribe and comment on these and share with your friends and family who you think might be interested in watching my videos stay tuned for more videos Ooh, excuse me. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna we're gonna try that again. That that was not it. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for more video. Peace.